All right, Iidi Hoops here with uh, junior Mike Rostampour from UNO. Uh, Mike, team's 15 and nine. You guys are on a three-game winning streak. Um, how would you assess the season thus far? Playing really well right now. Everybody's clicking all cylinders. We're doing what Coach asked us mm -hmm. to do. And just as a team, we're just have a lot of confidence in ourselves right now. So Right. Um, is this the best offense you've ever been a part of, and what, what makes your offense so good? By far, it definitely is. Coach gives us the freedom to just do what we do, and we just have the best guards, some of the best guards in the conference for sure. Mm -hmm. And these guys get out and run, and as a big man, it's so fun to just run because you get easy dunks, you get a bunch of rebounds, and I think that high-power offense, we just go. Right, right. Just go. Um, a little bit about your background. You, you've played at a couple different places, and I don't think that's you know too unique for someone. Uh, you played at uh, Grayson County College, St. Cloud State, and then you had to sit out last year. Now you're a junior at UNO. Talk a little bit about the, your journey and getting to this point. Uh, first half, junior college, that was fun. I was in Texas. I got to play with a really good big man there. He went to Cincinnati, so that was fun. But that was more of a slower offense, kind of like Western Illinois, mm -hmm. where we played more defense. And then St. Cloud, we got to run there too, so that was cool. Um, but coming here, it's just way different. The talent level is way higher. Right. Um, my coaches are very good coaches. I trust them with everything I got. And um, just the players, we get along t together so well on and off the court that it's just so fun to be a part of this team. Um, don't beat me up here. I can't help but but think that you, you, you're you similar to the ma the mascot, Durango. When I see you <laughs> out there, you're kind of like a bull in a china shop. You, pl you hustle hard. You're kind of a rebounder. Um, you know, who do you look up to in terms of uh, your game and, and uh, how would you describe your game? Uh, well, I grew up watching Kevin Garnett, you know, as a Timberwolf fan, being from Minnesota. So his energy, just how, what he brings to the games every day, mm -hmm. that's huge for me. And um, I mean, I've all, I feel like I have all around game, but my biggest assets are definitely rebounding and bringing that energy. Mm -hmm. I can hit open shots when my team needs me to, but definitely just, if there's a loose ball, I don't care where it is, I got to go get it for my guys. Right on. Um, now you won a uh, dunk contest in high school. I did. Have you uh, have you been con collaborating or consulting with uh, with Sox over here about uh, what he's going to do and and talk, talk to me about dunking in general? Nah, I can't do some of the stuff he does. He puts it between his legs so easy. I can't. That's just something I can't do. He was born with that. But um, otherwise, uh, I won't say much to him actually because he's pretty. Uh, he has his own little tricks, but. I mean, dunking's fun to do. It gets the whole crowd pumped up, gets your teammates pumped up, yeah. and it really makes defense that much easier when you go right. back. Any favorite dunkers in the NBA? I like Birdman. Birdman. I remember that. Okay. <laughs> it's under the radar. I got you. Uh, all right, there's a lot of Omaha guys on this team, a lot of Nebraska guys on this team. I know you're from Minneapolis. Um, what kind of benefits have you gotten in terms of, you know, being able to hang out with these guys that are locals while you're here? Everybody knows these dudes, especially CJ. We'll go to eat anywhere around here. People say, what's up, CJ? And then, you know, we'll meet them okay. and talk about, you know, our season, how it's going. So it's just fun being a part of the community and getting to know everybody. Right on. Um, what do you like to do in your spare time other than play basketball? I just really, I just like to hang out and just get my grades to where they need to be. Uh -huh. And other than that, school, basketball, I mean, that's my life. Yeah. That's all I do. You got a favorite sports movie of all time? There's too many of them, but I would definitely say, nah, I can't say anything. Um, and t tell me about your major in criminal justice and, and why you chose that and what you see yourself maybe doing in the future. Well, definitely I see myself playing professionally after this at some level, I uh -huh. don't know which, but I'm definitely gonna be doing that. But after that, criminal justice is huge because I wanna do something for the community. I don't like bad guys. I'm, I'm like, I like being the good guy and Definitely trying to be, you know, SWAT team, DEA right. agent, something okay. big up there, okay. FBI agent. Okay, that's so, cool. Yeah. Um, all right, a couple. Who's who's the craziest guy on the team? Just the guy you just kind of shake your head at and just be like, hey, uh, man. AP, <laughs> you, you know, Alex Phillips. You can definitely say that's him. Yeah. You can just watch him on the court, but off the court, there's a with the sensor that. <laughs> how about how about the funniest guy on the team? The guy that just makes you laugh. Uh, to be honest, there's a couple is goofballs it? in this locker room. It's really <laughs> funny, so I can't just name one. All right, and how about the who's the best freestyle rapper? <laughs> I'll say AP. Yeah, definitely Alex. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Yeah, appreciate it.